there, everyone. You know, sometimes being an early riser is really not all that convenient. I got all set to go out and run some errands today before a friend of mine comes to visit, and I was way too early. Nothing was open yet, so I stopped off, had breakfast and a cup of coffee, and now I am at the place where I need to run my errands, and I'm still too early. Since I have no great faith that this place that I'm uh, trying to run errands at will actually open on time, I thought I'd spend a couple of minutes and chat about next year, the, the coming year. We're coming up on the new year in, gosh, just a couple of days. And this time of year, Yuletide, the time between the solstice and the new year, is when a lot of us start thinking about the next year, what, what we're going to do, what we want to accomplish, what great things are going to happen. And hopefully we've also looked back at what we did this past year and what went well, what didn't, and how we want to change certain things. So for me, I'm still working on it for some reason. I can't just sit for a while and, and come to conclusions. I, It's ever-evolving for me, and maybe that's normal. I don't know. Maybe seeing all the videos of this is what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to do it, gives me a false sense of I need to have a definite plan <laughs> when I really don't. I don't know. Uh, let me know if, if you guys come up with definite plans or if you feel like me where things just are constantly happening and changing. I think I have come to a couple of minor conclusions. First of all, I am starting to realize my limitations. I have a bad habit of taking on massive amounts of stuff all at once. Projects, hobbies, interests, and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I mean, I've never had that definite one set passion in life. You know that you've always been told you have to find your passion and go do that. I don't really have that which for a long time made me feel bad, like I was doing something wrong. Why do I not have a passion in life? Am I just a failure as a human being? But for me, I like many things. And I have come to the conclusion, okay, that's okay. But I still was trying to do too much at once. And I think that's the main thing that looking back at this past year has kind of taught me is that it's okay to want to do multiple things, but I need to accept that I'm not going to be able to put 100% of my effort into all of those things because it's just not going to work. I'm, I'm going to get burnt out and I'm going to get down on life and my abilities, and that's not a great way to, to be. The second part of that is I've had to think about, okay, well then how am I going to deal this year? What am I going to change that maybe I feel a bit more successful than I have in the past. Because it is true when I look at my accomplishments for the year, and you know, I do have a bad habit as well of not feeling many things are accomplishments when they probably should be listed as an accomplishment. How can I do better about that? Because right now my list of accomplishments for me is relatively small. And I thought, well, I'm going to have to just really prioritize. And what that means for Witch Hazel's Cauldron and this channel is I may have to continue my unofficial break, but make it official. I've been doing less and less recently. I did almost nothing this past year, as you all, as you all know, but I've been wanting to. I have really been wanting to continue putting up videos, creating new things, blog posts, etc., etc., but I just was not able to this year, partially because I think my life as a witch is going in a little bit different direction than it was when I started the channel, so I have to figure out what does that mean and how do I want to incorporate it, and partly because I put a lot of effort this past year into creating something new, into diving into basically my dream career. And that was a huge learning experience, and it was a lot of work. It's going to be even more work now that I have a better idea of what it all entails. And knowing that, it's probably smart for me to not try to commit to a huge amount of stuff for this channel until I figure out what I want to do with this channel. I will try to continue 
updates on that along the way uh, when I have a better idea of what I'm actually talking about. But for next year, I am going to continue my focus on this new career move of mine and see if I can make it viable because this year was great, but it's not going to pay the bills. <laughs> so next year, I want to see if I can make it pay the bills and then I can look at branching out again. Hopefully by then I have a better system in place of how to manage my time and the tasks that I need to do. And then I can start looking again at what I want to do with this channel. Now that said, I do not plan on deserting you guys because I do really love Witch Hazel's Cauldron and I'm constantly amazed at how many of you are watching the videos and participating on, on Facebook or liking the page and I really love that. So I think what I can do is make more of an effort to become a regular presence on the Facebook page and add in startup conversations, that sort of thing. Because that is not as intensive as trying to put together the videos, but I think it's still a very good means of communicating and staying up to date. That's going to be the main focus for me for the cauldron this coming year. And as everything else develops, I will let you know any changes that come up. Thank you all again for being part of the process, for sticking with me, for watching my videos. I really am amazed and very appreciative of how many people have made commentary, sent me notes. It's been wonderful and that's why I don't want to, you know, completely leave it behind while I pursue other things. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful end to the holiday season and all of the best all of your dreams come true in the new year. Thanks so much for watching and I'll chat with you again soon. Bye.